Hello. Uh, here is a uh, we're recording in Kabbalah Studios from a secret location I cannot reveal. All right. So um, uh, some of these videos will be recorded with a, a whiteboard like this, where we will be writing on it and talking. My face will be in it, and some will be more uh, where my my phone or which I'm using for my camera will be pointed down at a. Uh, just a piece of paper, and you'll, you won't see my face, but you'll uh, still hear my voice and be able to write the notes down. Uh, one rule for these videos uh, is you definitely want to be writing down everything that I write down on this board here, all right? And uh, it should all go in your notebook, all right? And another rule is uh, just don't skip ahead um, too much on the videos. Uh, you do want to listen to everything we say. What I write is important and what I <laughs> say is important. Here or there, there will be some background noise in the videos. Uh, the secret location isn't that secret. <laughs> um, try to ignore that. <laughs> uh, okay, so today we're going to be talking about uh, CER. You probably have seen this a while back in your your other science classes. All right, so let's write it down here. Our title, C-E-R. Uh, write today's date, whatever it is. Look at your phone for a second, write the date. I know everybody's gonna have a, a different date for uh, the video, all right? So write C-E-R. And CER stands for claim evidence and reasoning. And this is a model we're going to use to write conclusions for all our lab reports. Okay, so yeah, why don't we write that down right now that we mentioned it? We'll underline our title and then we'll say use. The CER model to write all conclusions. Can you see over here? Yes. For lab reports. Okay. So write that down. Good thing about the videos, you could kind of pause it, write it down, and then start back up again. Uh, okay, so what is CER? Uh, oh, also for, for the conclusions. Break up conclusions for labs. I'm going to require this as well into three sections. So you'll be like this, C, E, and R. And there will be one sentence for C. There'll be, C will usually be one sentence. E will be one paragraph. And R will be one paragraph. All right, so when you write a conclusion you're liter for a lab report, you're literally gonna write C, and then you're gonna write one sentence. E, then you're gonna write one paragraph. R, then a colon, then one paragraph. Um, they have to be broken up into separate sections there, all right? Uh, don't, don't write it all as just, um, as just one whole paragraph where I can't tell what is part is the C, what part is the E, and what part is the R. I want to be able to tell which are the different parts, okay? Um, all right, so I'm actually going to flip, I'm going to see you do this once in a while, flip this board over when you're done writing. You can flip it. I wonder if that's going to reveal my secret location. Nope, good. Um, okay. 
we flipped it over. Now we're going to talk about each section, C, E, and R, okay? The whole point of C, E, R, I guess I've been hiding the point so far, is that in science, I'll show you my face because this is an important talky part, in science it is important that when we make a claim, when we say something is true, we don't just, um, we have to back it up with something, with some measurement, some theory. Um, science is our society's way of determining whether something is true or not. Um, is there evidence to back up that you're saying something is true? Um, so if you could leave something with this, anything in this class, it's if somebody says something to you, ask them what evidence they have. How can they back up their claims? All right. Uh, I guess with uh, the coronavirus, this has become incredibly important. You know, how do we back up our claims? Is there evidence that, uh, that you know, for all different claims people make about the virus, for example? All right. So let's start with C. That's where you say what you think is true. Statement. C stands for claim, there, it's a statement you believe to be true. Statement you believe to be true. And I'm just going to reiterate, it's only going to be one sentence this section when you write a, conclu a CER conclusion. One sentence. Okay, E stands for evidence. So it's going to be one paragraph, and you're going to discuss. measurements from a from two two sources it could either be from measurements from a data table or from a graph so don't just copy the data table into your e section write a paragraph discussing your data table, you know, one of the tables in a Google Doc that looks like that, has rows and columns. Discuss it in a paragraph. What trend do you see? Is there something number that's getting bigger or smaller or staying the same? Same thing you could talk about for a graph. We're talking about a graph with an X or a Y axis. You might say, well, the line seems to go up, then go down a little bit, then go back up. And that shows uh, that my claim is true because this, all right? Um, you know, the graph could also be a bar chart, something like that. But you're going to either, you're going to write a paragraph either discussing the, the data table or the graph, all right? And then comes R, which is reasoning. All right, so reasoning. It's uh, one again, one paragraph, and in that paragraph, you're going to discuss the theory. What is the theory? It's more like a how or why. Discuss the theory, the how or why. Um, the theory which backs up your claim. If you're thinking you're new to physics, but what theories do we have in physics that will end up in your reasoning section? That's right, the theory of gravity. Huh, you've heard of that one. There's a lot to say about gravity as a theory. Uh, to say gravity has to do with stuff falling, but it has to do also with the moon going around the earth and the earth going around the sun. And it's a theory in physics, all right? So, uh, how does how, how does some theory 
And usually that theory, I think I'll, if I have my markers, I'll change, should change colors more here, but the theory is usually going to come from a few spots. Come from You see that? Yeah, it looks good. Come from your notebook, or the theory could come from research if I give you a, a link to look at. All right, it could come from notebook or research. All right. So let's just talk about an example of a CER to conclude uh, that that you might see advertising makes a lot of claims. You know, you might have. Uh, some are true, some are not true. How do you know? A lot of them mostly advertisements say your life will be perfect if you just did this, you know? Um, but one really common advertisement you see is uh, for toothpaste. And actually every time you watch a toothpaste commercial, you're watching a CER. Uh, and it's real quick. All they do is print, they don't spend a lot of time. You're gonna spend more time in your lab report than they do on their reasoning and their evidence in the commercial, but they do present evidence of reasoning in toothpaste commercials. Uh, maybe if it's the statement would be like, Colgate is the best toothpaste, all right? And the evidence, well, sometimes they present the table, but they do present measurements uh, or and graphs sometimes, but I guess the most basic way they present measurements, which is evidence to back up that Colgate is the best toothpaste, is they say four out of five de dentists, there's a measurement, four out of five, recommend, it's a measurement, uh, recommend Colgate. All right, sounds good. Four out of five, I don't know what the other guy was doing, but um, it's pretty good evidence, you know. Um, I'd like better, probably I'd like better, but you know, that's it's a start. And then, uh, Reasoning. Well, why? Why is to what, What's the theory behind why? Why? Why do the four out of five de dentists recommend it? And why is is it the best? You know, why do you think it's the best? That would be what theory it, it shows that that connects the evidence to the reasoning that the four out of five think it's good. They would start talking about fluoride. Fluoride is uh, an element which is good for your teeth and good for uh, the health of them and uh, helps the protective coating around your teeth. So they'd go to a scientific theory that is, uh, has, has more evidence behind it in other experiments. But you know, if you were in biology, you might find that theory here in your notebook, you know, or in chemistry, you know? Uh, so there you go, that's a CER in a commercial, all right? And uh, we're gonna keep practicing making our own CERs.